Welcome to the Sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Krat. It's your connection. 
connection to candle because the answer is right god you get it but you're not feeling violent huh even better it's as good a time as any to grant you this boon now take your new key and say give me some room i can tell you're enjoying these times that we spar i take leave of you now but don't go too far Check this out. Looks like you, sorta. From a certain angle. You know, if you squint. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No, it, it looks exactly like you. I mean, you see it, right? With the nose and the... Right? Walking about in a place like this. You must be a stalker. Can I ask you a favor? My wife's body lies on Rosa Isabel Street. There was a fire, and I couldn't reach her through the flames. I know she's gone, but I hate to think of her just lying there. Would you bring me her belongings? Then I'd have something to remember her by. <sighs> Thank you. Small kindnesses like this give me something to cling to. Her body is on Rosa Isabel Street. She used to look so beautiful in her black dress. I miss her so much. Every day is harder than the last. Please, bring me her belongings. Her body is on Rosa. I miss her. It's just a puppet? What on earth is going on? Oh, my melody. This is her wedding ring. Our marriage should have been filled with joy. I failed you, Melody. I'm sorry. I should have mentioned she's a puppet. But she was real to me. I saw a shining soul inside her. Others laughed at me, but I knew the truth. I knew that she was in love with me, too. Maybe I'm crazy, though. <laughs> Who ever heard of a human and a puppet in love? <laughs> Melody. My melody, your words were everything. frankly, instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I... adore... Lady Antonia, it is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. 
However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? It exists indeed. An unbelievable love to be sure, with a wedding ring as its symbol. No matter what fate brings serving her, welcome to her. a certain age, it's a comfort to reflect on old memories. That's a portrait of me when I was young. <laughs> I was so feisty, so fierce back then. I loved the world, and the world loved me back. The passion of those days is long gone, but I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Do I still have this? No. <laughs> it seems Gepetto even taught you good manners. Yes, those beautiful memories are still vivid. so worried when you marched off to fight the king. But this... It's a necklace from the Mona Charity House. They took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those children grew up at the Rose Estate and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or don't tell me. The king's ergo is actually... Are you okay? You look ill ever since I mentioned the necklace. My heavens, you look... Just keep behaving, keep feeling like a human does. You might just hold the true secret of Ergo. So glower, I'm as happy as a parent. In this 
city, there are those who wish to crack the shell and be reborn. How about you? Can you awaken and break free of the shell that is your puppet's body? <laughs> oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So, I'll reward you with a hint. At the grand exhibition, you now must behold all ten fingertips of the woman of cold. Look close before she escapes your notice. Then I'm done with you. Mostly. Time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Gepetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen you, but even he can. You've seen this place. What do you suppose our cure has created here? I have to admit some surprise. I didn't expect you to be as rational. Mm. Quest last time. Did you give Ali Doro the gloves? Phew. Even the union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right, I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Ali Doro happy? Really? What a relief! I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift, because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, uh, I don't want to think about it. And yet, I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying, but... I'm gonna start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with my thanks. Here, child. This is my first chance to get a proper look at you. It's a shame my illness kept me from seeing such a handsome gentleman. Oh, oh to be young again. You are responsible for this miracle. You have no idea how much it means to me. I have to stay seated as I feel a little lightheaded, but I feel the vigor I thought I'd lost forever. Thank you. If Krat ever holds a proper ball again, I hope you'll ask me for a dance. By the way, do you remember when I mentioned my partner? I got a distress signal from him. His last location was Krat Central Station. But my gear won't protect me from the petrification disease there. Can you find him for me? I'll make it worth your while. Thanks. My partner's name is Atkinson. I think he was trying to secure an escape route. Look for him around Krat Central Station. I think he was trying to... Kill me. I'm a human. Are you a 
The suburbs are sealed off. There's no escape. Communications cut off too. Someone planned this all out. No idea who. Above my pay grade. But if you meet someone named Bell in the city, tell her Atkinson died. A soldier. Good to see you. I was getting worried waiting this long. The situation here seems to be getting worse. Soldiers like me are blunt. So give it to me straight. Is... is my partner... safe? This... this is Atkinson's handwriting on the letter. When we came to Crap, I never thought it would end like this. Sometimes you meet people who make you believe they'll always be with you, but a life can be snuffed out at any moment. I need to stay alive to notify others of his death. But it feels like something inside me has died as well. Anyway. I appreciate knowing what happened. I mean it.
Oh, amazing! I didn't expect you to thrash those rabbit fellows, too. You're here looking for Geppetto, aren't you? The fox and the cat have got that old man. They took the submarine from that dock over there. They probably went to the alchemist's isle. There should be another one. You should commandeer it. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see... Oh. What a murderous air you have. You're going to kill me? I know what you are. You're Geppetto's puppet, aren't you? If someone isn't trying to kill you, you can't hurt them either. That limitation makes it seem like your creator didn't trust you very much. Smart of him. So, what will it be, Mr. Handsome Idiot? Leave quietly? Or shut up and buy something? You're like a human. Hardly believe it, but the ergo readings you gathered leave no doubt. No doubt at all, you see? Okay, Vanini, breathe. Despite your best efforts, they can't read your mind yet. My friend, my apologies. But when you hear this news, you'll be excited too. The puppets were being compelled by the Grand Covenant. But they were communicating with each other. With wavelengths. This is beyond anything I'd imagined. They were not built with this kind of intelligence. I did the best I could to decipher the wavelengths, but there was considerable noise in the signal. Care to give it a listen? The last part sounded important, but there was too much static. Ah, tell me you heard it, please. We need to find the cause of the frenzy and... 
This may be our best chance. What or who was behind the frenzy? What or who? Really? Nothing. Ah, I've tried everything I can think of, but I keep coming up empty. I always welcome friends. Que bello! A brand new design. No, a whole new model. What a thrill! And there we are. Done. Even a brand new model doesn't stand a chance when you're dealing with genius. But the device bordered on genius itself. Required all my intellect. If you ever meet the creator, get me their calling card, won't you? No, oh, sorry, I'm sure you're busy. Just let me know if you ever find out. a rumor from a recent arrival. Is Alidoro truly dead? I don't know what to think. I didn't get to repay him yet. Honestly, I did think it was strange. The more I saw of him, the more different he seemed from the person I knew. I wonder what the real Alidoro was like. I wonder what the real Alidoro was like. Right? The fake one wouldn't dare hurt someone like him. It's a pity that I couldn't find out who saved me. I suppose that means he's out there in Krat, maybe saving others. But why does my heart hurt all of a sudden? Maybe it's because it's been so long since I heard about him. Thanks, anyway, for looking and for telling me. And now I'm giving it to you. You showed me the truth, after all. And that's priceless. In fact, my parents were murdered before my very eyes. The authorities in Krat insisted it was a mugging, but I know what I saw. A mad, raving puppet killed them. A puppet that was driven by a murderous lunatic's awakened ego. I know that because the lunatic told me his name. Arlecchino. I'll never forget his insane laugh. I have been fitting puppets with the Grand Covenant to ensure no one else ever has to experience the same tragedy I did. But this is our last shot. The last clue. If this doesn't break through the static, then nothing will. But the key to all this is Geppetto. He's really our only hope. And it's up to you to save him. Go on and take the wavelength decoder. Even if I failed, you might be able to find more clues. You're someone who doesn't give up. Who knows? If you need to hear it, just use the stargazer. Here, take it. I always well. Sending you messengers. 
but you got rid of them all. You're still an unstoppable fellow. I remember you. No reason for us to fight, I suppose. I'm Romeo. We grew up together in the Monad Charity House. Remember? We're best friends. I'm Romeo. We're the best friends. Factual, factual guest. <laughs> I bid you welcome, puppet of Geppetto. This is our first face-to-face -face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> and I hope you weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. I admit, I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Oh, the havoc you must have wreaked along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? I know all about those alchemist cowards. Hiding away on their island, growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fact. That they are hiding, or that they are monsters. And how about you? Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's art as only you can? <laughs> you must answer. <laughs> the question is simple, but I repeat, you must answer. And that answer will show what, or who, you are. Who you have decided to be. Now listen closely, and heed the king's speech. Or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet? Or a human being? Which one are you? Are you <laughs> Finally! You understand! <laughs> yes, we are human. I, I, I don't know. I can't make 
this choice? I think she wants to live, but... What will you do? You have to decide. You, not me. Keep her alive, perhaps against her wishes, or... Or give her peace. It, it's your call. Thank you. I was trapped for so long. So much torment. So much pain. Take my ergo. I will be with you to the very end. Yeah. <laughs> 